wise in heart shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increaseth learning. Understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that hath it, but the instruction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise teacheth his mouth, and addeth learning to his lips. Pleasant words are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. The kingdom of darkness, along with the workers of iniquity who run the beast system, uses trigger words to describe and attack a specific group of people. The workers of iniquity use shaming language to attack the indigenous people in the media, while making excuses for the serpent seed in mainstream media. Whenever the synagogue of Satan wants to take over a nation or to steal from the people, they attack the person's character in the media. Israelites Black media matters. If the kingdom of darkness wants to take down a nation, the workers of iniquity will attack that nation's leader by slandering the leader with false accusations. When the mind control sheep believe the lies, they turn on their leader. Satan has used this strategy numerous times to destroy a person in a nation. Remember, Satan is in control of all the kingdoms of this world. That is how Satan was able to offer Yahshua all the kingdoms of this world if he would bow down and worship him. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. The workers of iniquity took the offer Satan made to Yeshua. The leaders in the high places are serving Satan behind the scenes. In exchange for their service and act of terrorism against mankind, the synagogue of Satan is ruling in all the kingdoms of this world. Remember, Israelites, the heathens and the kingdom of darkness has a limited time. We are waiting for the times of the heathens to end. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Israelites, Satan does not have absolute power over the physical realm. The way Satan gained control over all the kingdoms, the scripture said the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. I reassure you, only the Most High has absolute power over all the kingdoms and everything he created. The scripture said the Most High appoint kings and he dethroned them as well. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Satan is not the Most High's equal. The Most High does not have an equal. He is the one and only. We truly need the Most High in the last days to understand what is happening in the beast system. We cannot afford to forsake the Most High at such a time like this. Israelites, you cannot say you're awake then share the same beliefs as the beast system. You cannot confess to be awakened then vote for a heathen king over you. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Whom the Lord thy God shall choose one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. Israelites have been placing heathen kings over themselves for multiple generations. Presently, many have cast their vote to set the serpent seed over them as king. Most do not understand when you participate and cast your vote for a heathen king, you are rejecting the Most High as king. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. There is nothing new under the sun. Because many Israelites have traded their glory for the lesser, that is the reason many Israelites perish among the heathens. When you choose flesh over the Most High, you eliminate the Most High out of your life. The Most High does not operate in the flesh. Yah is a spirit. Yah interact with your spirit. 
Therefore, the Most High seek for his people to worship and serve him in the spirit and in truth. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The kingdom of darkness want you to continue to operate in the flesh. Israelites, you will perish if you do not elevate to operate in the spirit. I do not know when our people will stop allowing the heathens to manipulate them into rejecting the Most High. The more you rebel, the longer your captivity would be. Israelites, it is especially important to understand the weapons the kingdom of darkness use against you. You cannot trust the people Satan used to persecute you. You cannot believe the workers of iniquity have your best interests at heart. For example, many people believe the coronavirus is man-made. Although they believe the pandemic is propaganda, many believe the stories planted in mainstream media by the very people persecuting them. When the journalists say a certain group of people are more infected with the virus, many people accept their statement as factual and share this information to continue the slander against the indigenous black people. If you believe the virus is man-made, this should conclude the man who made the virus deliberately planted the virus in certain areas to increase a certain group of people's infection counts. They can do this by the members of the synagogue of Satan refusing medical care to a specific group of people. The workers of iniquity falsifying data. We have seen on many occasions where government-run institutions discriminate against certain groups of people. Also, private-owned institutions forced to discriminate or face being shut down for not following the mandate of their wicked leaders in power. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Nobody can say these things do not happen. If you enter a store or public place without a face mask, you will be refused service. The owners of these private and government-owned institutions say it is the law. Can anyone tell me when the law passed that required the people to wear a face mask? There is a difference between a recommendation and the law. Could it be we are following the recommendations of the workers of iniquity? The kingdom of darkness has been using biochemical warfare against the people for a long time. According to the B-System scholars, the origin of most virus starts in Africa. Black people seem to suffer the most from these viruses, yet somehow the people with recessive genes are least infected. One would think a person with recessive genes are the most vulnerable. I did not know viruses were racist. When the indigenous people in the New World encountered the European land robbers for the first time, they infected the indigenous native black people with multiple disease. Smallpox, the chickenpox, the measles, the common cold, the flu, and many other diseases. Somehow, the origin of these viruses starts in Africa. Do not forget history, my people. Black media matters. Support real history. Teach your children the truth. Today you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The attacks against the indigenous people is an act of terrorism. Dear members of the synagogue of Satan, I am using the same language you use in the media. Therefore, this message is not hate speech. The workers of iniquity believe since the people do not know how viruses operate, they can cover their crimes through the people's ignorance. We must praise the Most High for His Spirit. The Holy Spirit is revealing truth and disclosing what is happening behind the scenes. Albeit when He, the Spirit of Truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Israelites, we are dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. Your leaders are involved in high-level sorcery. They must make blood sacrifices if they want to continue to rule. If they do not produce sacrifices and increase Satan's army, the kingdom of darkness will turn on them and attack them. Notice in the beginning, many people were dying from corona. Now many are infected and sent home to recover. 
In the beginning, many were forced to be quarantined in a hospital placed on a ventilator, moments later pronounced dead. The death of these people was a sacrifice. You cannot have one hand holding on to the Most High and the other in the world following the heathens. Do not trust the words of the serpent seed. How many times have they turned around and stabbed you in the back? If you're going to serve the Most High, you must serve him wholeheartedly. You cannot be double-minded in these last days. A double-minded person is unstable in all their ways. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Do not allow the workers of iniquity to pollute your mind. You must unplug from the folly to hear and see how the Most High is pleading for his people. Yah cannot fight for a people who wants to be captives instead of obedient servants to their Savior, the Elohim of Israel. It is imperative that you allow the Most High to renew your mind. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The synagogue of Satan used trigger words in certain languages to activate racism, hate, discrimination, war, and all manners of rebellion. The beast system's mainstream media is terrorism. The media is a weapon Satan used to continue its attacks against the indigenous black people. When the indigenous people, such as myself, use the same trigger words and language against them, it is labeled hate speech that requires all types of restrictions. The media is owned by the very groups of people who stole our identity. So does this platform. Israelites, this is why black media is important. For multiple generations, the kingdom of darkness has been telling our story. The heathens' educational system and religious institutions manipulate history to exalt the serpent seed while destroying the indigenous people. If you take the time to examine the media's reporting on indigenous black people's stories and the serpent seed, they use two different styles of journalism. The indigenous person is guilty regardless if they are the victims. If the crime is done by a person whose bloodline stems from the serpent seed, the journalists use supporting words to trigger support for the criminal. The thug who commit the crime would receive massive support and protection from his people and forgiveness from the indigenous person. Israelites, words are powerful. Words can uplift or destroy. The kingdom of darkness used the media to maintain its hold on the people. Through the media, Satan can elevate one group and destroy another. Therefore, it is important to the serpent seed to control all forms of the media. By controlling the media, nobody could challenge the lies. The workers of iniquity made sure my channel does not reach a large audience. Every time the views increase, the synagogue of Satan accused me of violating a community guideline and placed multiple restrictions on the channel. Every platform that reached the people, the workers of iniquity censor. By controlling the media, the workers of iniquity can add and take away as their heart desire. The workers of iniquity can create a delusional world that satisfies their desires. The truth must become known. Israelites, the Most High spoke the world into existence. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Because the Most High spoke the world into existence, the words we speak are alive. The scripture said death and life is in the power of the tongue. Words have significant power behind them. The scriptures revealed the Most High has placed His words above His name. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Seeking the face of the Most High in his words is how you would find deliverance. The Holy Spirit can break down the words of the Most High to help your understanding. The scriptures reveal faith comes by hearing the words of the Most High. So then, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The Most High placed his words above his name for a reason. By hearing the words of the Most High, it increases your faith. 
The kingdom of darkness must imitate the Most High. Therefore, it is important to the synagogue of Satan to control the media and use certain language to manipulate the indigenous people. The shaming language the kingdom of darkness used against the indigenous people caused deep-rooted issues within our communities, image, and name. Because the serpent seed's bloodline appears to be favored by the Most High due to the whitewashing of the indigenous people's legacy, the indigenous people admired the serpent seed. Whatever these people say about the indigenous people, they would believe and act upon. The media always associate the trigger word thug with black people. The definition of a thug is a violent person, especially a criminal. Every group of people have thugs in their community. When mainstream media report on the thugs in non-black communities, they make excuses for them by using the mental illness card. They use mental illness to trigger your emotions to activate support and forgiveness. It does not matter the offense of a black person. The media will describe the individual as a thug. They dig deep into their background to find crimes to support the thug label. Because of the bywords used against the indigenous people, many black people act upon these stereotypes. The indigenous people glorify thug culture in their music, movie, image, and community. Many believe if they take back the bywords such as thug or nigga and use it in a non-derogatory way, they are winning. If you were winning, the thug culture would not be popular in our communities. Also, you would not be upset when a non-indigenous person uses the bywords. Our communities would be flourishing. The byword thug and nigga would have no effect on our people. Our people take the bywords, use it against themselves to destroy themselves. Remember, the scripture said, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. If the trigger words from the satanic media were speaking life into our people, our communities would be flourishing. Instead, our communities are in a constant state of decline. The workers of iniquity are speaking death into our communities and many indigenous black people accept their words. When you accept the bywords, you are forging a covenant. You must be careful with the words people speak over you, especially trigger words that is meant to harm you. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. We can continue to attack each other and perish among the heathens, or we can elevate to stop the foolishness. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness is attacking you in all aspects of your life. Presently, mainstream media continue its attack by redefining the term people of color. Now, people of color are white people from different parts of this world. You are no longer the people of color. The kingdom of darkness is getting ready to change your name. Who give them the right to do so? Regardless of what they do, your name would no longer be Jacob, but Israel is your name. To the descendants of slaves, you are Israelites. Do not let the whitewashing of history and our culture stop you from claiming what rightfully belonged to you. Take it back. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. Israelites, you must know how the kingdom of darkness is attacking you to fight back properly. The awakening is not about us remaining in a baby phase for a long period of time. You must graduate quickly to solid food. Understand spiritual warfare. You must properly identify your opponent and attack the correct opponent. If the spirit of poverty has a stronghold on your life and you are fighting the spirit of delay, the spirit of delay would flee. However, the spirit of poverty remain because you are fighting the wrong opponent and you fail to identify all your adversaries. Israelites, the words of the Most High said we should speak life into each other. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Too many Israelites are reckless with their words. You must give an account for every word spoken. I wonder how some Israelites are going to justify the diabolical words they use against each other to the Most High. But I say unto you, 
that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Israelites, do not allow the kingdom of darkness manipulate you into accepting the bywords spoken over your life. You are more than the derogatory labels placed on you by the workers of iniquity. Nobody who uplift themselves by tearing down another group of people would go far. The heathens are famous for doing such foolishness. The heathens are blind by the illusions of this world. Therefore, they would always find ways to justify every wrong they have done. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Israelites, do not expect the truth to change the workers of iniquity. The truth would only harden their hearts. You must take control of your life and do not allow the kingdom of darkness to manipulate you into accepting the identity they want to give you. We need more of our people blogging and creating news outlets to change the narrative. The Most High must appoint you. Too many of our people sell out when the kingdom of darkness come knocking. You must be bold as a lion in spiritual warfare. In addition, you must allow the Most High to show himself strong through you. Indigenous black people, you are the people made in the Most High's image. You must love yourself and stand up and take control of your community, image, and name. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom, and of all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord, that doeth this. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed, and the mountain shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them, and I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land which I have given them, saith the Lord thy God.